Today we're going to find out how to install a font all on Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad. This is quite a straightforward video, but as well as showing you how to install a font, I'm going to show you where to find fonts and certainly where I find fonts and one website in particular. There's also going to be other tips and tricks I'm going to show you along the way, so let's get into it. Here we are back inside Affinity Photo 2 on the iPad and I'm just going to start by making a new document. So we're just going to hit new on the left hand side and it's brilliant because straight away we've got lots of different presets set up and I'm going to scroll all the way down to web. Web are really video these are and I'm going to go for this is a 4k size and everything looks great and I'm going to hit ok and there we have our nice 4k size image set up and all should say there's going to be chapter markers in the links below if you want to skip to certain things and as always pinch in and out to zoom in now this doesn't change the canvas size the canvas size is still 4k we're simply zooming in and zooming out and up here if we just click that magnifying glass in the top right hand corner it'll bring our document to the full width of the screen which is very handy we're going to add some text down here in the bottom left hand side we're going to click text and in affinity photo if you just click and drag you get a very rough size of what size of text you want it tells you here the point to and i'm just going to hold one finger and press paste because already i have typed in my text ahead of time and it's Indiana Jones. And again, I'm just going to hit that zoom button just to get the canvas back to full scale. Indiana Jones. Why am I choosing Indiana Jones? Well, for two reasons, really. The new trailer for Indiana Jones was released not that long ago. So it's it's playing in my mind. I love Indiana Jones. Really looking forward to it. Check out the trailer if you haven't already done so. But we're not talking about trailers today, Andrew. We're talking about how to add a new font. And that's what brings us to my second point, the Indiana Jones font. It's really cool, it's really nice, and it's quite noticeable, so to add that font will be nice, and I will probably use that many times, especially in kids' projects and different artistic projects, and Indiana Jones font is really nice, and it's really fun. So we've got Indiana Jones, and the next thing we want to do is find Indiana Jones, but before we do, I'll maybe just click into Indiana Jones, and if I double tap, it'll highlight it all, or you can also just tap on the left and select it all. I haven't selected all, or I haven't selected the eye, so we'll get that and up here you can see it used to be down here in the Findy Photo 1. It's now up here at the top and we can just click in the text and you can see recent. So it's really handy if there's a recent font you've been using. You can go back to it without searching for it. You can search for the font up here if you've got lots of fonts. Affinity Photo 2 does come pre-installed with quite a few fonts as you can see. And the great thing about this is you can see Super Mario there. Affinity Photo 2 has actually brought over my fonts from Affinity Photo 1. And that's interesting because once we go into the preferences to show you the fonts, you won't see Super Mario on that list. And uh, I'll maybe show you that now and how to add an actual font. So we'll click back. We will go down to preferences on the left hand side. And then we will simply click fonts. And you can see at the minute I've installed red hat display and pretty sure that's a google font it's free to download and it's what i use my thumbnails for or the font i use my thumbnails for and i said super mario is not on this list but if i go back into affinity photo one super mario will be there so see and i've already installed the super mario font in affinity photo one and it's still on my ipad that will not show up in this list but it will still import it to Affinity Photo 2, which is quite good. That said, what will happen on the day I uninstall Affinity Photo 1? Will my Super Mario font disappear? I'm not sure. I suspect it might. And I'll, I'll maybe let you know if and when that happens. But to get our Indiana Jones font, I'm just going to pull up the dock just by sliding my finger up. And then I'm going to click in to Google Chrome. And if by magic it already comes up in the Anna Jones font, that's not a Google thing. I done that before I press record in this tutorial. Simply typed in Indiana Jones font and this is the page that comes up. And I'm sure these fonts are brilliant and will do the job. But uh, my two my go to place is really da font dafont.com and if we'll click into that and again there's lots of different font choices and font websites. Just accept all but this, this seems to be one that I keep coming back to uh, because what's quite nice here is you can custom preview your text. So say I want Andrew, submit, 
it will show you what Andrew looks like in the Indiana Jones font and that's pretty cool so if you want to change it to anything you want uh, that is, it's a nice way of previewing it so if we just click download and then down at the bottom here in Chrome we'll have to hit download again it's downloaded the font so we'll just bring up our dog again just by dragging our finger up we'll go into the files icon the files app and you can see Indiana Jones zip We'll tap it once because Affinity Photo doesn't accept zip files. It's actually looking for, and if we click into this folder, these here fonts. So again, let's just bring in Affinity Photo 2. And we're going to go to the cloud icon. And really it should be like an upload button. We've got a delete button, done button, and cloud kind of means, means upload. So we'll tap the cloud icon. We'll go to our Indiana Jones folder. We'll click on the first Indiana Jones and it pops up and then we'll just go to the cloud icon again and we'll click the second file and I presume these are two different files or two slightly different fonts and that's the font installed in. It's as easy as that. We'll just hit done. We'll go back to our Indiana Jones project, click the text and it's, it's hidden there but if we bring that down it's already selected. We'll go up here and again you can type it in to the search or just Bring it down that even we'll just type in I and and it already pops it already pops up. We don't need to type in the full thing. We'll click Indiana Jones and there we have it. We'll just maybe scale it up a wee bit. Indiana Jones, we'll click this button so it's full scale and snapping is turned on, so we'll make it go nice in the middle. Indiana Jones, or very quickly, if we double tap, we'll type in Andrew Goodman. It doesn't need to be Andrew Goodman. It can be what your name is, or your kid's name, or whatever you're wanting it to be. Oh, two fingers. If you ever make a mistake, two fingers to undo, three to redo. We'll just snap it here in the middle. And that looks pretty cool. Andrew Goodman. It's a really iconic font. I'll maybe do two fingers to undo this just to keep it back at Indiana Jones. Because I think in the next tutorial we'll actually take this font and make it into an actual Indiana Jones logo. And through that we'll learn about drop shadows, we'll learn about gradient, and we'll, we'll maybe do a few other things to make it look like the Indiana Jones, just for a bit of fun. So that's going to be the next tutorial. And just before we go, we'll maybe go to da font again. So we'll go into Google Chrome, we'll click on the logo here, and look at that, recently added fonts, playful Christmas. And that actually looks quite nice. I'm just going to go down here very quickly up here there's lots of different fonts we can choose from so if we want to choose say let's have a look we'll maybe try retro font let's see captain america that looks quite good let's see what else we have oh wrestlemania that looks that looks pretty cool too there's so many different fonts the font is it's it's really class uh i might go to that captain america font because I, I quite like that so we'll Tap into it. Again, you can preview your name, how it's going to look. And uh, just for fun, we'll, we'll type in my name again here. Submit Andrew. I was nearly tempted to say Captain Andrew, but no, we'll not do that. I'm going to download it. Hit the download button. Click the download link again. We're going to go straight into Affinity Photo. We're going to go back. We're going to go to Preferences. Down to Fonts. Click our cloud icon. We'll go back. And I've made a mistake because, again, Affinity Photo can't accept zip files. So we're going to have to go to our files icon. That's a rookie mistake, Andrew. Live in camera. We'll click our Captain America font. Just to unzip it. Go back to Affinity Photo. And if by magic the folder appears, again, there's two files. We'll click into it. We'll click done. Back to our project. Click the text, double tap that. And it should be at the top here, Captain America. Look at that, that's how Indiana Jones looks in the Captain America font. If you're curious, uh, puts a totally different spin on things. Fonts are brilliant. There's an infinite amount of fonts out there for all your needs. There's Stranger Things fonts. Oh, I've done a Stranger Things tutorial on Affinity Photo one some time ago. Check that out if you want. That was a that was a lot of fun. But we'll do two fingers 
to bring it back to our Indiana Jones and I think that'll do us for today. So there you have it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something and remember it is a two-part video now. It was originally only one part. It's now two. We're going to take this font, this text and we're going to make it into the Indiana Jones logo and that's going to be exciting for the next video. And if you like this video and found value in it, please give it a like. I'd appreciate that. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so because there's going to be more videos coming out very soon. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Video.